Uh, right, I'm going to... Hi, guys, firstly. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm going to begin uh, with you, Hannah. I mean, you don't. I don't often get the chance to speak to people after the, the show is out, because usually, traditionally, junkets take place the kind of week leading up to it. But because we yeah. are speaking a week after it's kind of released, we have this knowledge that it's the number one show on Netflix. I mean, how does that feel? That must be still quite overwhelming and surreal to know that this show is playing in millions of households. It's It's so so surreal and it's also bizarre because obviously we're in our houses we can't go anywhere so I know that other people are watching it but the only way I know is is like through my phone and because some random person I went to school with when I was seven has sent me a message like it's it's so hard to realize that how how massively it's blowing up but it is really amazing because it's such a um loving and kind fan base that it's been really overwhelming in a really positive way. Yeah, Alicia, I was going to ask, I mean, all the characters, obviously, in this kind of new environment, and they're all kind of a sort of a similar age. Was it quite easy to replicate that on screen? As I, I guess that was kind of the same thing all of you were experiencing in real life, kind of all traveling to, to Ireland and shooting this series. Yeah, I, I mean, it was, it was quite difficult going back to um, me as a 16 year old and going, what was I like in school? Because um, <laughs> obviously, I didn't enjoy school so um I mean in some ways it was quite easy for me to get into music because I don't think she enjoys school but um but it, it was quite difficult because this, the mind of a 16 year old is so different nowadays you know um it's more on on social media everything's there so it was quite difficult um so there yeah <laughs> Because um, I was going to say, Hannah, I like the kind of the mixture of the kind of obviously the magic side of things, but also the kind of politics of the high school, high school. I've been watching two American movies, <laughs> secondary, school, secondary school experience. Um, yeah. Did you quite like that balance? The kind of because I guess it must have been quite easy to tap into the human aspect of the characters, despite their their kind of magical powers, because there was so much kind of layers and, and humanity, I suppose, amongst all the characters. Yeah, for sure. And, and much like Alicia, I had a really horrible time at school I was so bullied and it definitely was not a time I cared to go back to in my mind but it did it was quite therapeutic it was quite uh relieving to figure out why people were so cruel at that age and be like actually there's so much going on underneath the surface and in a way you get redemption and forgiveness for the people who weren't very nice because you never know what's going on behind closed doors imagine having that and then fairy powers it's a lot because <laughs> yeah. Yeah, obviously you mentioned Alicia that obviously these days all the sort of social media and stuff are you quite pleased you didn't go to school as a teenager kind of now because I reckon the pressures that would have come with like how many Instagram followers everyone in your class had would have been too much to bear I think oh my goodness yeah like also um what what young young uh, the younger generation have to live up to now with regards to how we look and how we express ourselves is so different um, and it's all about what it looks like in, in, a, in a four by six frame. Like, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but I also would say with that generation, like, they are really, like, aware of what's going on in the world. They're That's way true. more politically engaged than I was. They care so much about equality. And it's, that gives me loads of hope as well. And yeah. I feel really inspired by people who are so much younger than me. It's brilliant. Yeah. yeah, when I was six, I yeah. told you who was the prime minister, but they all seem much more clued up. <laughs> yeah. But um, I was going to, because obviously a lot of fans want to know more about who these characters, uh, who these actors are playing these characters that they know so dearly. So I'm just yeah. going to ask you a few very quick questions about your fellow cast members. So I'll, I'll start with you, um, Alicia. Who, who would you say was the, the person most likely to forget their lines on set? <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, that's uh, and it's just out of the fairies. Yeah, there, there could be anyone. Okay, um, I'm gonna say Danny Griffin. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Nice. And uh, Hannah, who would you say had the best um, the best taste in music and the worst taste in music from everyone on the, on set? Oh gosh, <clears throat> best taste in music probably Precious. Mm -hmm. Worst taste in music probably <laughs> me. Cool. So. <laughs> and uh, who would you say Alicia was the biggest joker on the set? Oh, that's difficult. All of the girls were were on par with each other, actually. <laughs> so I would say all of them. 
and uh, and Hannah best who's the best dressed um I don't, I don't <laughs> want to say me but um <laughs> no I'm actually kidding I think probably Alicia and Precious uh they're very stylish mm. all right my my, very, my final question then to you Alicia was then who was the best and the worst dancers because I'm, I'm assuming there's a rap party I'm assuming you've seen each other dance well um I don't want to say I'm a good dancer, but um, <laughs> but I am. Jesus, she's so it. good. Um, <laughs> worst dancer is um, go on, ha, who would you say, Hannah? <laughs> I was gonna say Elliot. Just does a lot of like, just little, oh yeah, she like, does do a lot of that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll go with it. It works. Thank you for the help. It does work. Because when I asked Elliot that question, she said, oh, I don't think anyone was that bad at dancing. Well, <laughs> well it's good that she, she knows. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, <laughs> um, but yes, on that note, thank you so much for your time today, guys. And maybe thank hopefully you. as the second series, we'll be able to do something like this in person. Who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.